Let's dive into the world of PySpark. Every data scientist that works at a company with sizable data will likely need to learn PySpark. In this video, we'll go through a quick and simple demo of how you can use and learn PySpark for your own personal data science project. No need to use your company's PySpark instance. And if you're unemployed, this is a great way to learn industry-grade data science tools with your own laptop. First things first, what is PySpark? Imagine unlocking the power of Spark with the simplicity of Python. It's like having a magic wand for data processing and analysis. PySpark brings to the table Spark SQL for handling structured data, Spark Streaming for real-time data magic, ML Lib for machine learning wizardry, and GraphX for graph processing prowess. Here's why PySpark is your go-to for large-scale data adventures. 1. It's blazing fast processing data in memory rather than the slow crawl of disk-based processing. Imagine speeding through data like a sports car, not a horse-drawn carriage. 2. Python's familiarity means you're working with a friendly face in the complex world of data processing. It's like navigating a complicated gadget with a user-friendly manual. 3. Whether you're working solo on a single laptop or orchestrating a symphony of thousands of nodes, PySpark scales with you. It's your data processing Swiss Army knife, versatile and ready for anything. 4. Real-time data processing with Spark Streaming? Check. It's like having a sixth sense for detecting banking fraud as it happens. 5. Dive into machine learning, graph processing, and more. PySpark doesn't just open doors, it breaks down walls to offer a comprehensive data science playground. And the best part, PySpark integrations with your own tools like Jupyter Notebooks and Pandas. So let's get started on our project and set up PySpark on my own computer. You can use Jupyter Notebooks or Google Colab. I'll use Colab for my setup. Even though Google Colab is a versatile tool, it doesn't come with Java loaded, which PySpark needs. First, put Java on your computer and update the source. Next, download and unzip Apache Spark. We're using Spark version 3, 1.1 compatible with Hadoop 3.2, but feel free to use newer versions if available. Find Spark is a helpful library that makes it easier to interconnect Spark and Python. Install and initialize it to add PySpark to the system path during runtime. Now let's set up environment variables which helps Colab to locate Java and Spark installations. Finally, let's initialize a PySpark session. This acts as an entry point to programming with Spark and PySpark. You're all set. No matter how skilled you are as a data scientist, Google Colab gives you an easy to use cloud-based space to try out PySpark's features. Now let's look at a real life example. A set of facts about weather worldwide. The goal is to figure out how temperatures have changed over time. I provided a link in the description to download the data. Let's load the data now, here's the code. Here's the output. Now let's clean this data a little bit. Let's find records where we don't have null values. Here's the output. Now let's calculate the average temperature for each country. Here is the code. You'll notice that it looks very similar to pandas. The code is basically pandas, but you're doing work on a Spark data frame rather than a pandas data frame. Now let's visualize our data a little bit. To do that, let's first create a new column that will scrape the year from the DT column. Here's the code. Next, we'll need to convert the PySpark data frame to a pandas data frame. This allows us to create a plot. Here is the graph. Now to understand it more, let's do some filtering and sorting in PySpark. Now let's find the countries that have an average temperature greater than 32 degrees. Here's the plot. Next, let's sort countries by the latest year's average temperature and plot it. Again, you can see that the code is similar, if not identical to pandas. So if you know pandas, you'll have a good foundation for PySpark. Pretty easy, simple stuff, don't you think? You will find more advanced features and methods in PySpark that will make handling data easier as you learn. Give it a try and practice more advantage techniques on your own. You'll find a list of data projects on Stratascratch. We also have over 1,000 plus PySpark short coding challenges for you on our platform as well. If you like content like this, please subscribe to this channel and go on to stratascratch.com to get data science resources. Thank you.